Parkland consistently voted one of the safest communities in America until today. I was a freshman, 15 years old, on the first floor of that building. When you, you, you know, encounter a tragedy or something like that, it changes your perspectives and beliefs. I think it's hard, you know, to, to hear someone say, I don't want to wear a mask, it's uncomfortable, I can't breathe. It's like, it's just upsetting. Like, it's, it's so, it's science, you know, it's, it's common sense. It's just, it's humanity. After the shooting, at our high school, Josh and I wanted to make a difference, and we created a organization revolving around gun safety. We created a contract for parents and grandparents to sign a contract and promise their children that they'll vow to vote for ethical legislators uh, who support ch children's safety over guns. So with COVID-19 coming along slowly and as it gradually increased, our younger sister Lauren, she has type 1 diabetes and is very high risk to this virus. And we, Adam and I, sitting on the couch watching the news, and we're seeing people on backyards and beaches. Right. The numbers are escalating in Florida, serious numbers. We had 15,000 one day, I believe. And Adam and I, we just wanted to make a change. When we first started, we're like, oh my God, we have this contract idea. Why can't we make it into a promised humanity? Promised Humanity is a uh, organization and global movement that we created asking every individual to sign and promise that they'll wear a mask, social distance, and slow the spread of the virus in order to save loved ones. And the feedback has been unbelievable, you know. Australia, India, COVID impacts not just in the US, it's everywhere. To have this movement start in South Florida mm -hmm. and just affect the world that just can create positive change, it's just, it's fantastic. When you, you know, encounter a tragedy or something like that, it changes your perspectives and beliefs. I've always been one to help, but just being, being through something like that, you know, it always hits close to home, especially for Adam and I. As much as we can, you know, we want to re re reiterate this message, but I think it's hard, you know, to hear someone say, I don't wear a mask, it's uncomfortable, I can't breathe. It's like, it's just upsetting. Like, it's it's so, it's science, you know, it's, it's common sense. It just, it's humanity. In the end of the day, wearing a mask protects you, protects others. That's the main point of this. We want to slow the spread of the virus as much as we can. We're the generation that's going to make the difference and we're here to help and we want people to recognize that we're not stopping anytime soon.